All right, believe it or not, eight hours until the polls will open here in Louisiana. Of course, one of the big local races is the Baton Rouge mayor's race and the candidates taking their final lap before you cast your ballot. Dion Guillory is live at City Hall tonight with the candidates last night of campaigning. Dion. Elizabeth, the top three polling candidates in the race for mayor of Baton Rouge, doing that final push to get voters before the polls open tomorrow morning. Once those polls open, the race will be in your hands. All right, vote tomorrow. On the eve of an election. All right, all right. Yeah, <laughs> it's all hands on deck to earn voters. Incumbent Mayor Sharon Weston Broom and her team out on Airline and Old Hammond where horns honk and signs wave. And so we want people to know how vitally important their vote is and we want them to be a part of the process. And oh. oh, yes sir! Good ball. Yeah. Good job. Pretty Bruce. First time candidate Sid Edwards put his campaign on a brief pause to tackle football practice at Astruma High School. It's, it's, it's almost like Christmas Eve, right? We just got to wrap the gifts and uh, see what Santa's going to bring tomorrow. He's not waiting until then. Edwards says he campaigned this morning and again after practice. Hey, Ava! Democrat Ted James felt supported while he and his team held up signs at the corner of Perkins and South Acadian. So we've had um, eight years and is the question is, is Baton Rouge better off? Um, and we hear consistently all across this parish that people are ready for change. James is at the top of the most recent poll commissioned by a political action committee affiliated with the Baton Rouge Area Chamber, showing him one point ahead of his former friend, now opponent, Mayor Sharon Weston Broom. Political analyst Jim Inkser says these last minute efforts matter. One false move here or there or one positive move could make the difference between running in December or going home on Tuesday nights. Inkster says Democrats are split with one or both of them making it to a runoff. This is a blue parish now. It used to be a red parish. And whoever the Democrat, uh, Democratic uh, candidate is in the uh, round two, if it's one of the two candidates, they will be the heavy favorite in round two. But if it's a runoff between two Democrats, then we're going to have lots of fun and it could be a race for the ages. Now the candidates do plan to do more campaigning tomorrow. Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom and Sid Edwards both say they plan to vote tomorrow. Ted James says he voted early. Live at City Hall, Dion Guillory, WAFB 9 News.